usually I'm unboxing a flute. This isn't a flute. So I had a Stag electric guitar that I, I bought as kind of a trial. I got it used. Had to do some fixing up on that guitar. But I wanted to see if it was something that was going to suit my needs. And it did, but the neck was a little bit too thin kind of a, a, a modern shredder type neck and that's not the kind of player I am. I like a little bit wider neck without being too white. This came from Germany and uh, this is actually the second one I ordered. The first one hasn't arrived yet. And that's the one I'm looking forward to the most, but this one is pretty cool, I think. Let's see what happens when a, a guitar comes from Germany. Everything seems to be in one piece, which is a really good sign so far. So this was on sale because they claimed it was a, a B grade, which designates it either as a demo model or um, a return. It could have been a return for some reason. And at first glance, I see nothing wrong. Give me a minute and I'll plug it in. Pretty cool. Hi. So I'm back. I got out my, my Rivera Kiana Amp 410 all tube because I thought it was deserving of this little guitar. So real quick, um, neck pickup. These are humbuckers and it has a coil split switch built into the tone control push-pull type deal. Um, just going to do some real quick stuff here. Clean. Middle position. position.
split. Um, it takes two coils and is only using one of them. So it's sort of like a telly or strap type sound. Without the split. With the split. It, uh, it does cut down on the volume quite a bit. I'm going to turn up the treble just a little bit more. position. first one that shipped supposedly a day before this one has just cleared customs so it's going to take maybe another week for me to get that. This is a design, it's a Harley Benton guitar again, CST24 meaning 24 frets, HB for hollow body, and I've owned a few hollow body guitars in the past and they were either too wide this way and just uncomfortable for me to play or too deep 
in the body. So it, it brought it out further than what I enjoy. So I wanted to try this one, especially with the sale price. Um, even with the regular price, the price that I got this for shipped to me here in the States from Germany was $205. Nice, nice quality. I used to have, and I'll, I'll post a picture of that also, a Paul Reed Smith, which this is sort of designed after. Paul Reed Smith, mine was a McCarty model, one of the first generations of the McCarty model. I love the guitar. But those are a really, really expensive guitar, and I'll, I'll look up the price later on. I don't know what they sell for right now. That guitar now belongs to my oldest son. Um, I gave both of my boys a guitar that I had out of my collection. Um, he chose the Paul Reed Smith. And uh, I don't blame them. It wasn't a guitar that I was using a lot because of the cost of that guitar. I wanted to take care of it. I didn't want to just beat it to death playing it. Um, with a $200 guitar, I can play this as hard as I want to, as much as I want to, and not feel like you know, damaging the frets a little bit or getting a bump here or there, that's not going to hurt me like it would on a guitar that, you know, is $3,000, $5,000, whatever the Paul Reed Smith sells for today. Um, so that is why I was looking at these. I liked the Paul Reed Smith a lot that I had. I didn't play it a lot, but the neck was a little bit thicker this way. Not quite as comfortable as this one, and I'll have to get used to the fretboard on this. This is really flat. It has, I believe, a 14-inch radius. I'll look that up, either a 12 or 14-inch radius, and pretty flat. Um, and I figured with the body design similar to a Paul Reed Smith. I knew I was comfortable playing that shape. I like the looks of the double cutaway much more than like a single cut design, things like that. And all of those things led me to decide that I wanted to go ahead and get this guitar also, besides the one that I first ordered. Um, I went right back and when I found out that this was also a, what they called a B stock, um, and on sale for about $30 off, I think, maybe slightly more than that, 30 to $40 off, um, I went ahead and bought this one also. I'm very happy I did. Um, I like the sound of it. The other one is a solid body without the F holes, and it'll, it's a little bit different than this, same body shape. Um, it's still one of their CST designs, CST24, um, and a little bit different color. But I love the looks of it, I love the way it plays. I'll get used to that fretboard a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.